United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Tuesday, February 2nd. Announcement for today. All graduated seniors looking for summer work will be a while during the firefighting training for the conference. Participants can be 17 to take a class, but this be 18 by summer to apply for the job fighting fires. If you're interested, stop by the office for more information. Also, yearbooks. Please make sure you have ordered your yearbook. The final order deadline is February 4th. After this date, you may no longer order a yearbook. February 4th, yearbooks are $40. Also, the last chance to turn in crap fee tickets is this week. Please turn into Coach Grove by Thursday. If you need another ticket or two, stop by Mr. Grove's classroom and pick up those tickets from him. Today, we have sports, boys basketball at Parma, 4.30 sometime. And today in the lunchroom, we have beef nuggets with chicken strips sticks and garlic mashed potatoes or pizza hot pockets, salad bar, fruit choice, and choice of milk. Have a great Tuesday. So before we go over the bell work, I just want to remind everybody that there are no cell phones in this class, so I don't want to see them. Please go ahead and take a minute to wait. I want to see them. Okay, so I had to all do the spell work, so who can tell me what a bowl is? A male. A male, male what? Cow. 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 It's not very castrated. Yeah. Yeah, it's a male cow that's not been castrated. It's not been castrated, and it can reproduce, right? So what is a cow then? A uh, female. female cow that has had cows. That has a Right. And a heifer. It's a female cow that has not had a cow. Very nice, very nice. I always, every time I hear a heifer, I think of Duck Dynasty with um, Cy. When they always say, heifer, I love it. Okay, so I want everybody to, um, I want to go around the room and I want everybody to share with me what your livestock experience is. Or if you don't have one, let me know. What's your experience? You don't have one? Have you, I guess, have you been around cows at all? Yeah, so that's your experience, right? Nice, very nice. Go for it. Um, my grandparents have a dinner. Oh, nice. And my other grandparents have a farm. We'll get into sheep too. We're gonna to talk about beef, wine, and sheep. We'll get into that. Right, Lauren? Um, I show sheep, pigs, goats, and sheepers. Wow, nice. Uh, I love a lot of cows. Okay. Uh, front door family has cows. We're gonna start running cows. Nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. And you're doing life cycle thing, aren't you? So that should be pretty easy. Hey, Isaiah, is your experience with cows? Well, my dad raised beef cows himself. Okay. And I worked on dairy all summer. Right on. Raised beef cows in school books here. Cool. Uh, raised calves and sell them. Nice. Hey, Robert, what's your experience? You don't have one? You like to eat cows? Yeah. Yeah, okay. How about you? Uh, I used to have milk cows when I was really little, and then I got rabbits when I went to Colombo, and my dad was with this one um, woman that has sheep, so I was with them. All right, Miss Bull Rider, what's your experience with cows? Right on. Right on. All right, so yesterday I had you all create a poster with a breed that you chose from a different country. And I would like each group to present those today. So who wants to go first? We will. Go for it. You don't have to take it down. You can just come up and point. But describe everything on your poster. 
the meat is like ink. And uh, they are usually fairly friendly, but you have to be careful because they are bold, but they're friendly, no matter their size. So they're extremely muscular. I think it's amazing how muscular they are, but it still tastes like ink. Do you think it'd be really tough, right? Interesting. Depends if you shoot it whenever it's blood pumped in. Thank you. Round of applause, please.
Okay, so once you're done, there are about three to each table, and then you two girls will just work together. One person from each table, I want you to get a Chromebook. And I'm going to write down a website for you guys to go to. I was told that from past classes, it was difficult for them to remember the parts of a cow or of a bovine. So get a Chromebook, and we're going to go to a website, and you all are going to play game with parts. Yep, what you guys are writing down, hold on to them because they're your notes. And then most likely, almost 100% sure, they'll be the list eventually. So, I You said that. You said that. Um, we're getting a Chromebook. I'll see if you can go over what's going on. Long, long. Well, you could just like buy it. I guess I can just. I mean, I'll be long, don't you? The old man. Good evening. I don't know. Yeah, something is cheap. 
do that.
This still works. Yellow toes, baseball. Oh, no. Excel something. 
you want good dinner, you want to have a cow calf production. Okay, is ready? No. Okay, so we're going to start with evaluating these. Let's get that. So we all went over the parts of the steer. Who feels pretty comfortable with that now that we played the game? <coughs> okay, we're going to keep reviewing that because it's very important to know the parts. Why is that important? In case you want to buy that. It helps you evaluate. Helps you evaluate? What's another reason? And in like shows, they ask you questions. They ask you questions, right? And you should know it. Um, like how many ribs does a sheep have or something. Uh, what about vet calls? You have to know where it's from. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what if you call a vet and you say, uh, leg's broken. <laughs> okay, well, where on the leg, which leg, you right, you need to know these parts. It's important. Well, it's like a cough. Okay, so now we're going to go over evaluating muscle. So write down evaluating muscle. Bleed, bleed muscle. Are you going to remember what that stands for? No. <laughs> Great, you got it? Yep. Okay, so here are the points to look at when evaluating muscle. You have the loin, the round, the stifle, the forearm, and then also based on the, the base of the steer. Why are these points important? We're looking at muscle. Does anybody know? Because those are the main cuts of meat. Thank you. Yeah. What was that again? Those are the main cuts of the meat. Very nice. Yep, main cuts of the meat. Okay, is everybody ready? Are we gonna, do you want to do the ready to rock, ready to roll thing again? No. 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 Oh, no. All right, fine. We'll do it. Okay, so here are some examples of muscle. I guess I can use my laser for that thing. If you want a wide base steer, why is that important? It has more weight. Huh? More weight. More weight. Uh, better meat. Okay, more meat. Light muscle, that's a good example of, maybe it's not going to show on here. Where is it? Okay, this is an example of a steer that is light muscle. Okay, why don't you want a steer that is light muscle? Over someone that's, or over a steer that's heavier muscle. This not as much yeah. meat. Tougher meat, right? That's why you don't butcher bulls. Right? You use bulls for breeding, steers for butchering. Cool. So then you have a muscular round because it's another main cut. Right? Okay, and then you have a muscular loin and a muscular forearm. Those are examples. Does everybody see that? Yeah, it's um, all this. I know it's long, sorry. But everybody can see it, right? See the pictures? Okay, so you have the muscular loin, and you have the muscular forearm, and then you have a muscular round and stifle. Where's the stifle left? They're right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. They have a muscle on their hip. Okay, and then you have light muscles and you have white base. Is evaluating fat important? Yeah. Does everybody like, who likes fat on their steak? Fat? Who doesn't? I love fat on my steak. Why is fat on steak important? Because it gives it the taste. Later. The what? Okay, so these are the main points to look at when evaluating fat. I want you to write down all these points.
behind the tail? Oh, it's COD for spears and then utter for heifers. Structure. Why is structure important? 
Stefanski. And lastly, Carlos Hunter will be able to build up much weight and how they'll do the walking and stuff. Walking? Yeah, you still want them to walk, right? So you can put them on the back. Yeah. No, I'm going to have a level side. We're looking at the front quarters and looking at the hind quarters. We want a level design. Does that make sense to everybody? I guess work, they're built to fatten up the meat. 